channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you like it, and share to a friend if you think might need it. The video was requested by someone down in the comments, so if you have a song you would like me to do, leave it down in the comments, and I'll check it out. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So for this song, you're going to need a couple of different chords. So the first chord you're going to need is a C sharp. To play that, it's going to be 5th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 6th fret. 3rd string, 6th fret, 2nd string, 6th fret, and 1st string, 4th fret. Then the next chord you're going to need is an E chord. For that, it's going to be 6th string open, 5th string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 1st fret, 2nd string open, and 1st string open. Then you're also going to need an F sharp chord. Let's play an F sharp, it's going to be 6th string, 2nd fret, 5th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 4th fret, 3rd string, 3rd fret, 2nd string, 2nd fret, and 1st string, 2nd fret. Then you're going to need an A chord. To play an A chord, it's going to be 5th string open, 4th string, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 2nd fret, and 1st string open. Then you're also going to need a B chord. To play a B chord, it's going to be 5th string, 2nd fret, 4th string, 4th fret, 3rd string, 4th fret, 2nd string, 4th fret, and 1st string, 2nd fret. And you're also going to need a G sharp minor. To play the G sharp minor, it's going to be 6th string, 4th fret, 5th string, 6th fret, 4th string, 6th fret, 3rd string, 4th fret, 2nd string, 4th fret, and 1st string, 4th fret. So for the song strumming pattern, it's pretty simple. It's just going to be down, up, down, up, down. So for the first verse, the chord progression is going to be from C sharp to E to F sharp. So for C sharp, we're going to play down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, and then for the E, you're gonna play down, up, down, up, and then for the F sharp, we're gonna play down, up, down, up, and then go back to the C and repeat the whole thing all over again. So this is how it sounds like C sharp, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, E, up, down, up, F sharp, up, down, up, repeat all over again. Time. And after I repeat that for the third time around, you're gonna repeat the exact same strumming pattern, but it's gonna be for different chords. So, for the, instead of playing the C sharp, you're gonna start with the A, and you're gonna repeat the exact same strumming pattern that you played on the C sharp on the A chord. So, down, up, down, up, and then go to the B and play down, up, down, up. And then go to the C sharp and play it down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then gonna go to the E, down, up, down, up. Then to F sharp, down, up, down, up. And then C sharp again. And then you go to E, and they play down, up, down, up. And then for the second time around, you're gonna go to the F. It's just a quick, short strum. And and then go back to playing the second half of that same verse. So for the second half of the same verse, you're gonna start playing the exact same way. So and then remember the usual A. But then this time around, the B is going to be different. So for the B, you play down, up, down, up. You play that three times. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you go to the C sharp and play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then you go to the E, down, up, down, up. Then F sharp, down, up, down, up. And then you repeat the whole thing all over again. So C sharp, down, down, E, F. And then you go on to the chorus. So for the chorus, you're gonna be starting from the G sharp minor to the F sharp to and the C sharp. So for the G sharp minor, you're gonna play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then go to the F, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then go to the C sharp, down, up, 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 down, up. And then repeat the whole thing all over again. So, and then for the 
second time around for the C sharp, you just play it down, 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 down. And then you go back to the regular G sharp minor. F sharp. But this time instead of playing that C sharp, we're gonna be playing that D sharp. To play that D sharp is gonna be fifth string, sixth fret, fourth string, eighth fret. 3rd string, 8th fret, 2nd string, 8th fret, and 1st string, 6th fret. I'm gonna play down, up, 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 down, up. So after you play the D sharp, you go to the F sharp. And for the F sharp, you play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you go to the E and play down, up, down, up. And then to the F sharp again, and play down, up, down, up. And then for the C, you play it down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then go to the E, you play it down, up, down, up. And then F, down, up, down, up. And then you repeat it one more time. So C, sharp, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then E, down, up, down, up. up. And then you just strum the F chord once. And then for the next verse, you're gonna play the same thing you played on the previous verse three times. So. And then after you play that for the third time, you go back to C and you play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then you play down, 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 down. And then you go into the chorus. And for the chorus, you just repeat it the same way you played the previous chorus. But that they get towards the end, where you're playing the F sharp to the E, and then the F sharp again. So after you get to the F sharp, and, and then the E, and then you go back to the F sharp, set up in a strumming pattern, and just strum once. So this is how that part sounds like. And then, after you strum the F once, you go to the bridge. And for the bridge, you're gonna start with a G sharp minor. After you play a G sharp minor once, you go to the F sharp A and play down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you're gonna play down, up, down, up four times. And now you go to the G sharp minor, but instead of strumming down once, you're gonna be playing the same strumming pattern that you played it on the F sharp. So, two, and then back to the F sharp. Then go back to the G sharp minor one more time. And then for the F sharp, you just strum down 12 times. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve. And then after that, so you just repeat what you played on the verses three times. So this. And then after that, you go on to the last chorus. And then on the last chorus, you just strum the chords that you played in the previous chorus just once. So, And then you end with the F sharp. And that's pretty much how the song ends. So this is how the whole song sounds like all together.
If this video helped, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to see more videos like this, share it to a friend you think you might need it, leave a comment down below on what story you would like to see next, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you next time.